Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube. I'm so sorry about my last video. It was a disaster. This video is so much better, so much more organized, I hope. And um, today we're gonna be doing a smoky eye. This is, this is actually a smoky eye. The last video is not a smoky eye. I was totally nervous. I was just throwing words out there and you guys know that I used tapered and dense a couple times and I didn't say that once. <laughs> so um, I'm doing the videos a little different right now until I can actually figure it out or until you guys want to give me tips or something. Something. If you want to see my secrets, just keep watching. First, we are going to take my um, matte nude primer. It's from Ulta Beauty um, in the color Nude. I'm going to put that on the back of my hand, just a small amount. And we're going to take a flat brush and just put that all throughout the lid. There you go, as you can see, all throughout the lid. Uh-huh. Okay, and then next, we will be taking um, my original bone color. I know that I usually say that it's a bone color, and I will put that throughout my lid too, just as my base. And I'm just taking more of like a, it's a natural um, lighter color. So, I mean, if you have um, a little bit more uh, darker skin tone or, you know, like undertones of pink or yellow or anything like that, and you want to put something on, you can do that. Next, we'll be taking this kind of milk chocolate color. I have to reference it in food. It makes sense if it's in food. And this is going to be my um, Morphe M518 brush. I know that you guys love my brushes because I use the same brushes every freaking video gonna put that all above my crease and we're gonna blend I'm gonna make sure that it goes all the way over into my inner corner as well um, I want to make kind of like a halo next we're gonna be taking this dark chocolate color um, gonna be putting some on the same brush and then we will be putting that more in my crease and then on uh, each side of the uh, corners the outer corner and then the inside of my eye again just to kind of make like a, a middle halo make sure that's blended out come on girl blend next we will be taking a flatter brush this is my um, brush that I got probably in one of my naked palettes um, it's just a flat lid brush and we'll be taking this uh, kind of golden it's a more of a bronze kind of color I'm gonna be using the Smashbox um, Primer Water Photo Finish. That's me just reading off of the screen right now. Um, <laughs> uh, spraying just a couple times. That's enough, that's enough, okay. Um, and then it's wet, it's very wet, using my other palette as my backdrop, sorry about that. And then we're just gonna put that right in the middle. Oh yeah. Making the brush wet or moist, ugh. Um, helps with the application just so FYI I know some people kind of put their put it on their finger and that helps sometimes too but I like just wetting my brush um, this is me uh, showing difficulty opening the palette and then we're gonna go in with this now golden it's a lighter color I just wanted to mix these two colors because I felt like this was a little bit too bronzed so we're just gonna go and then spread this throughout the lid. There I go again with my Urban Decay. I'm gonna take my um, same Morphe blending brush and I'm not gonna put any more product on it, but I'm just gonna uh, blend out the corners where I applied the uh, shimmer color. Come on, what are you doing? Oh God. Oh, this is me <laughs> successfully pulling off the plastic of the eyeliner. I felt um, pretty satisfied after pulling that off. It took me a long time, like six, seven minutes long time, but I had to add me finally accomplishing it. Um, this is my NYX, uh, eye and eyebrow pencil in the color black, super black. And we're going to put this on the waterline. And then on the same waterline, just on the upper lid. Next, you will curl them lashes to the heavens, yes, God. 
I'm gonna take my Better Than Sex mascara and apply that on my lashes. And then I'm gonna be taking this Kiss number 11 lashes. Okay. <laughs> um, blow all my hot ass breath all over it and then pop those babies on. Does not take much. Next, we will be taking my favorite concealer, um, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye um, in the shade color medium slash light medium. I don't know why they won't just say light medium. This is my favorite concealer right now, so far. I, I still am yet to try like Fenty and every everything like that. So we will blend this baby out with a broken looking ass sponge. And then this is where I also kind of carve my um, eyeshadow out too. So you'll see me get really close to like the um, outer corner eyeshadow, Radzia, Radzia, yep. There's another set that I take too, just to kind of carve it out. But um, I put my concealer real close to my under eye and then I just push it all the way up. Next we'll be taking this Airspun Loose Face Powder. I said that a little too fast. And we are gonna take a flatter morphe sponge and uh put that on my under eye this is also another step that i do when carving my eyeshadow i'm getting right there um next to my nose mm -hmm. do you see what i see i kind of feel like we should have pushed that out the shadow out a little more just so that it could really carve but it's fine um, I put that on there for maybe like 10 seconds or so and then I wipe it away. I don't want it to be too set. Next, we're going to take this Elizabeth Mott blending brush and we're going to go into that same dark chocolate. I'm going to put it under my eye and at first I like to kind of place it there. And then we're actually going to take a clean blending brush. Oh God. Oh God. What did I do? Listen, there's going to be mess ups. Don't you worry about it. I'll show you how to get that out. I completely forgot that that was in there. <laughs> um, I'm going to take that same uh, Morphe sponge with nothing on it. Just whatever was on it previously. And I'm just going to erase it. I feel like I did a pretty good job at erasing it and getting rid of it. And boom, it's gone. Going back to what we started. Blend out that shadow under the eye. And it's pretty blended, but I just want to make sure, oh, there I'm going, I'm blending more. Don't mind me, I'm lost. There's my clean brush. That has nothing on it. I'm just gonna put that back under my eye and I'm just gonna make sure that it is blended because I don't want it to drop down, you know, come down too far on my cheek. So I just wanna make sure that it's nicely well blended. You know what I mean. And then we're gonna take my tiny little brush that did not focus in, my Sigma E30 brush. We're gonna take this kind of pinky shimmer color and then we will put that in the inner corner and then we're all done. That was simple. <laughs> okay guys, that is it for the final look. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I know that this is uh, different from what I did in my previous video because in my previous video I felt like an idiot. So I'm gonna try and change it up just a little. Um, and of course, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to my channel, like this video, tell your friends and your neighbors and your family and your grandparents, especially your grandparents. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and make sure to tell your grandparents. Okay, bye.